Hey guys, so I wanted to do a room tour of um, the place that we're currently at right now. Uh, we're about to move in the next like six weeks. And so this is the only room I can think of that hasn't already been uh, messed with by me. Most of the other rooms in our houses are, I've already started packing up. And this is the only room I could think of that actually still has like stuff on the wall. So this is my son's bathroom. Um, it's attached to his bedroom again at the current um, apartment that we're at. So I just wanted to show you real quick. So currently I'm standing um, in his room, kind of showing you what it looks like if you were to walk in. So I'll walk in right now and show you what it looks like. I'll close the door behind me. Here's me, say hi. And so if I take a step back, you can see that I have a hanging rack right here for like towels and robes. And this is a little, um, dragon robe or a lizard or something like that that he had received for his birthday and so i usually have that back there that's usually what i grab whenever he's in the tub and i have this uh picture right here this is splish splash because when he was little he was really bad about knocking water out of his tub and so i saw this at ross one day and i felt like it fit perfectly for him and um, I usually don't keep anything on the countertops, uh, especially in his bathroom. There's really just no need for it. So I did have a cute little frog uh, soap dispenser that was more uh, kid appropriate, but he broke it. So I just have a um, Honolulu Sun um, Pack and Body Works soap dispenser. And there's really nothing down there. Um, nothing in that drawer. I keep all of his toothbrushes and things like that. And this drawer, I need to get him some kind of little stand for the countertop. And down here is where I was keeping his um, uh, laundry um, basket, but I've already moved that to our another our new house. And so I just I have just been scooting his little uh, step stool over there to kind of keep it out of the way. I get this from Marshalls. It's a safari themed, which is also kind of the theme that um, he has for the rest of his bathroom. This is a shower curtain that I got at Target. Um, I actually purchased this for $20. It was on sale, which was great because it actually is the same exact uh, bedding that he has on his bed, like the same exact print. And I love it. I just think it's so cute. Look at these little lions and these blue hippos and the green elephants and the fun little alligators. I just love this so much. And so, um, I bought the, again, I bought his bedding for his little toddler bed. And then when I saw that the uh, shower curtain was going on sale because they were discontinuing it, I immediately purchased it because I love it so much. And so for the little shower hooks, I have little frogs because they're so cute. And then kind of going with the little safari theme, I have a little hide and seek cheetah sign. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know how much I paid for it, but I just thought it was cute when I found it. And again, nothing else like super fancy over here, just a standard toilet and the vanity. And I got this rug from Target. I had actually purchased this rug, not sure what I was gonna do with it. I just really like uh, the blue and the green and the white uh, and the dark navy pattern. And I think it was only like $12. And so I just, I really liked it. And I purchased it and kind of brought it home and put it on a shelf and wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. And then I realized how well it would go with his room or with his bathroom. So I stuck it in here. It worked really well. So again, I'll move this back here. And uh, it's a very small bathroom, but again, it's dedicated for him. So again, there's a splish splash. And um, he has this little built-in like linen closet, which we really don't use too much. The only thing I do have in here is just a few items. Um, that's a little gift for his Easter basket. Don't tell him. And so I keep his like extra shampoo in here. I just use a little swab or suave, however you say that, kids. Um, just two in one. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like the little boys. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, and then I also have some backup of the wipes. Um, he is potty trained, but I will probably be one of those moms that have wipes in my house for the rest of my life. These are just so nice to have on hand, and that's why I always, always have the little um, travel ones in my bag. I mean, I, I probably use these more for myself, <laughs> just like wiping off my hands if I touch something or at the, at the store or whatever, um, than I actually do for him. But these are just something that I love having on hand, so I always keep some extra in stock. Um, this is the little scoop that I use whenever I'm giving him a bath. It's funny, because this is actually 
a um uh, I found this at a feed store and it was it's for like a scoop for like uh, dog food or like animal food and the particular feed store that I went to had like a million of them and like all these like fun colors like hot pink and lime green and zebra and all these like fun colors and so they're only like five dollars and so I bought a few of them with the intention of just using them for my dog for like his dog food but then I started to realize how great they would be for like a bath time scoop because um, it just holds so much water and so I, I use them I have a couple of them I use this one for him and his tub we have one that we use for crawfish like we were doing crawfish yesterday and uh, they drill the bottom of the holes out so when you go to scoop the crawfish the water drains um, I have one that I use to uh, water my plants with and so it's just one of those things that we have found so many uses for them so we have them just kind of all over the house and so that's the one for his bathtub and it's green so it kind of matches like with the rest of the cutesy you know things but uh anyway that's about it it's a pretty simple little small bathroom but again it was the only bathroom i can think of that i haven't uh messed with quite yet so hopefully when we get to our new house i can show you how i decorate that one there so thanks for watching bye guys